Hey everybody, I am here walking around the trails of the John Jay Audubon Center in Audubon, Pennsylvania, which is close to Valley Forge, which is itself basically a suburb of Philly. And I'm here to talk about Tim Walls, possibly the future vice president of the United States and currently the governor of Minnesota. Now, I believe that Kamala Harris made the absolute correct and wise decision to pick Tim Walls over Josh Shapiro as her running mate. And a lot of the reason I feel this way is not only just because I personally like Tim Walls a lot. I think he's a great guy. I think he's been an excellent governor of Minnesota. Appeals to leftists, liberals, moderates, and even some reasonable Republicans. What few of those there are left in our country. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like Tim Walls a lot. Um, but in my estimation, Tim Walls is like a diet Bernie Sanders. He's Bernie light. Um, and what I mean by that is that he espouses a lot of the progressive uh, views of Bernie Sanders, the social Democrat views of Bernie Sanders, but doesn't have a lot of the baggage of the Bernie branding you know, the socialist from Vermont branding. Um, he has a little more like moderate leaning branding, um, but at the same time, he appeals to the people who would have liked to see Bernie Sanders become president of the United States. And the way Kamala Harris wins this election is by uh, appealing to young progressives um, and young liberals and she wasn't going to do that with Josh Shapiro. Josh Shapiro was going to be a, an appeal to the center. It was going to be a cynical attempt to uh, cement a win in Pennsylvania. Yet we all know uh, that merely being from a state um, doesn't make a running mate someone who's going to just deliver that state for you. It could have won, but she could win Pennsylvania without Josh Shapiro. And now she has Tim Walls on the ticket. And Tim Walls, uh, first of all, he's amazing on TV. He's been, uh, he came from behind. He was the dark horse candidate to be her pick. Um, but he just does so well on TV and does so well in public appearances that uh, he immediately rose to the top of the field um, and edged out a lot of the ones who were previously thought to be, you know, up there with Josh Shapiro, such as Mark Kelly. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, Tim Walls is just, he's, he's an everyman. You know, he, he was in the military, he was in the army, uh, later became a teacher, later became a governor, and has enjoyed uh, a lot of success in the state of Minnesota, despite the fact that he was dealing with a right-leaning legislature in that state. He managed to pass um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of major uh, reforms to the Minnesota state government. So um, I think that he is the top choice and she made a very wise decision because now, instead of having to apologize or try to cover a lot of the Israel, the pro-Zionist baggage that Shapiro would bring to the ticket, it's like a fresh slate. Kamala Harris can explain where she stands on the Israel-Palestine conflict, the Middle East. Um, and at the same time, she has this bulldog behind her, Tim Walls, who is just going to go on the attack against J.D. Vance and Donald Trump. Um, and he'll be able to level some of the attacks and leave a lot of uh, a lot of what Kamala Harris does in her public appearances. Uh, she can explain how she intends to uh, lead the executive branch of the United States government. So, uh, smart choice, and I think uh, in the long run, uh, we could look back and say that that decision that she made to pick Walls instead of Shapiro may very well have been the decision that uh, got Kamal Harris into the White House.